Now the rest of the stuff I put in the car last night, but it was dark and raining. Well, I suppose I'd best sort this out first. Well, we did it. We made it to stage four. I tell you what as well, the weather today is absolutely fantastic. The sun out, almost blue skies, it's 20 degrees in the car, it is positively summer-like. As busy as it is, we have managed to get a spot, but it is absolutely roasting here. It is gonna be a stonker tonight, and I almost wish I was wearing my shorts rather than my joggers, but driving down here, the village did look really nice, so I think we're gonna have quite a nice little pleasant tour. It looks like a park over there by the looks of it. I can see people playing. Yeah, some kind of village green. We'll go and have a look in a minute. Well, nine minutes when I go and pay for the car park. Now, if you're wondering how I found this car park, it was another Google Maps and Street View job. You can actually look around the whole car park on Street View. So I thought it would be okay. The only question is always if it's flat or not. And whilst the majority of it doesn't look flat, this bit is, well, minus one out, but that's nothing in the grand scheme of things. Now this is what I was hoping for on this walk, in that I would eventually find the entrance to the green. thinking that's what you call a makeshift electrified fence. I almost want to touch it. Well, I didn't expect to find a pathway in the middle of this forest. Let's see where it goes. Now going forward, 
in reality I think I'm probably only going to manage one actual car camp a month and to be honest that's mainly because I'd end up using loads of annual leave if I go twice a month like I normally do but all is not lost because I have so many tutorials that I want to film and so many ideas for videos that are driveway bound or not car camp based then actually there is more than enough content for me to film so yes even though the car camps themselves are dropping down to once a month you can expect plenty of car camping related tutorials and stuff that I've bought and I've got at least one review I need to do now any other time I would follow that sign to Chartwell because Chartwell is somewhere that I went to years ago and I think there were really nice walks I'm guessing that's where we are but in the woods where Chartwell is and probably Ide Hill and Toys Hill they're probably all over there but I need to probably start walking back to the car because we've done a good three miles so far and we've been out for about two hours and I should have had lunch before I left and I didn't and I didn't have a coffee either I just had a bag of crisps and I didn't take any water out with me and it's hot and I'm thirsty so I think we're gonna make the slow trudge back to the car and the car park well that was where the sign was and that over there you can't really see it that is Chartwell and that is the home of Winston Churchill and if you like that kind of thing definitely give Chartwell a visit it is well worth it Well, that was a lovely walk around the countryside it was a good almost 10k but I'm not going to come to the car just yet because we still got a couple of hours of daylight and to be honest I still want my lunch even though it's half past five so I think what we're going to do we're going to have a coffee and some food and then we'll head back out again otherwise I'm just going to end up going to sleep Well, it must be said, the genuine pot noodles are actually much nicer. That was probably the nicest chicken and mushroom pot noodle I've had in a very long time. What I didn't want to be was the only car here overnight. But what I tend to find in village car parks is that you do always tend to have cars overnight because the locals use them because they're free. I'm not sure why, but this park up is really reminding me of when I car camped in the village of Forking on the South Downs near to the Devil's Dyke. That was a really nice park up. It was a tiny village, just a little side road, little lay-by. But what I did on that car camp, I took my gas stove out onto the village green, which is like this, and basically cooked my food under a tree. And it was really nice. Now, I'm not really using my gas stove at the minute, as you know, but I'm pretty sure with my All Power 700, and my electric saucepan I think I could probably recreate the experience or do something very similar and have an outdoor cooked meal off grid if that makes sense it's definitely something to think about now the weather has turned I mean the weather is fantastic now it's seven o'clock it's still daylight it's lovely and warm perfect Well, as nice as this has been it is rapidly approaching eight o'clock so I think we best head back and get some food because it is getting very late and if we don't eat soon we're never gonna eat well even though I'm not parked under a light because of the kind of car park this is I'm not too bothered about if I've got any light bleed tonight so I've got my lights on full blast that blackout's not even on properly, but I know there's nothing over there other than a field. When you're in village car parks like this, then it's not as bad as say when I'm on my residential. So if I was resi, and there's plenty of places in Western you could do residential stealth camping, 
there's loads of the kind of spots I normally park in all down there, all down the sides. But to be honest, I quite like it being here tonight. I thought we'd have a bit of green tea for a change tonight. But right, on the menu tonight, we have the kind of thing that I don't normally use on a car camp, and that is, so I do have something else to put in this. I bought half a cooked chicken when I was out earlier on. I didn't feel myself doing it, but I put some of it in the pot noodle and I'm gonna put the rest of it in this, mainly because, well, I fancy having lots of chicken. <laughs> but I'll spare you the viewing pleasure of watching me debone a chicken carcass. Um, yeah, you'll see it when it's in the pan in a second. Now this rice cooker, once it's cooked, has a keep warm function, which is really good when you're at home because it will keep your rice hot for longer. But in a car, I already know this takes 50 watts on keep warm per hour. Because when I first used this at home, I didn't realize I hadn't turned it on properly. So the light has to be red for it to be on. And when it's on green, it's only keep warm. And what you also get with this little rice cooker is a dinky little serving spoon to serve your rice up. I'll tell you what, these canned curries, they're not too bad. I mean, they're not fantastic, but they're not as bad as a ready-made meal or a frozen meal. They just need a little bit more salt. Actually, I'm gonna put some salt on it. This is way too much food for me to eat at this time of night. It's quarter to 10 now, and I can't have leftovers because I need this pan for breakfast in the morning. And if I don't eat that, that'll get wasted, and I hate wasting food. So I'm gonna have to eat all of this. So, I will see you when all this is done and I'm asleep on the bed because I'm so disgustingly full. Well, as you can see, I haven't quite managed to finish it, but you might be wondering why I'm saving it in a takeaway container. Well, I do have my little car camping fridge with me, my uh, cool bag with four ice packs in. Now that's definitely still gonna be cold in the morning. So once this cools down, I can whack it in the cool bag and then I can have that for breakfast as well as what I was gonna have for breakfast. But there's no point eating all this now, it's too much. I won't sleep, I'll just feel ill. So yeah, we have curry for breakfast, which is always nice anyway. I mean, who doesn't like leftover cold curry for breakfast. It's up there with cold Chinese and cold pizza. Very nice. It is a great spot. It is such a great car park. This is why I use Google Maps and Street View to find my park ups, because this car park looked really good on the map and on Street View. And you know what? It's actually better than it looked, because I didn't know there was a stream there, and I didn't know I was gonna get this spot. Or more so, I didn't know this would be the only flat spot in the entire car park. Well, as good as flat, as flat as you need it to be. So, um, yeah well happy. Although, I might have heard a little boy racer. My second stomach opened, so, you know, who am I to deny my second stomach? Now, I appreciate this probably isn't the best content, but what I'm doing, I've got all the lights off, I've got the window wound down, and I'm just sitting down on the chair. It's 11 o'clock, thereabouts. Yep, it's 11 o'clock. It's lovely here. There was a car with its lights on just now, and I thought I was going to have one of those YouTube moments where someone starts flashing their lights. But, as you can see, the light was there 
and then it's gone. And I don't know what car it was either, so I was going to go outside and have a little walk around. But um, I don't want to now because I can see one car in the corner. And I don't know if that's the car that had its lights on or not. But I didn't hear a car leave, so they're obviously still in here as well somewhere. So that's cool. I'll just sit here and enjoy the sound of the river and my fan. And just be cool man and just like that it is 12 o'clock and i think it is time for me to hit the sack so as much as i'd love to sleep with the blackout off and my window down the problem is with that is that i snore so um yeah the whole car park will hear me not stealth snoring if i did that so the blackout is on the window's half down so we can still hear the river And with that, breakfast is served. Now I have one item left to do a review on that I've been sent. Now, although I've got the item, I've actually had to get them to send me something else because I have to install it and fit it. I'm gonna be brave. But last night, it would have been really useful. And actually, right now, it would be really useful as well. And hopefully, it will give you an idea as to something that you can use in your car camper but hopefully that won't be too long i think it's going to take about a week for the item to get to me and then once it's here i can then get it in and show you it it actually works really well having the table set up like this because then the weird little folding table i have on the back of the headrest acts as a kind of kitchen top And as I mentioned on the walk yesterday, I think my next car camp in reality will probably be a month's time, but we'll see how things go. But in the meantime, I'll still be putting out some tutorials and stuff like that. So you'll still see me, just not necessarily on car camps as much as you have been. Until next time, take care. <laughs>